Our hormones play a critical role in sexual function, with testosterone getting most of the attention. Many men feel how much testosterone they have is a direct gauge of how high they rank on the manly meter. As we age, testosterone on average goes down by 1% a year, but this isn't a fixed hard and fast number. We can keep going hard and fast as we age by making the right lifestyle decisions. There's research in the Healthy Man study that found no decrease in serum testosterone associated with age among men over 40 who are in very good or excellent health. Today we're going to focus on functional hypogonadism, which is when our testes produce very little testosterone, but it's still reversible. By optimizing our hormones, our testosterone will go up like a thermometer on a hot summer day, so we can continue to have the most amazing sex ever. How do you know if your testosterone or other hormones are out of whack? The best way to find out is to get them tested with your doctor or a company like my sponsor, Let's Get Checked. With Let's Get Checked, you don't need to take time off for a doctor's appointment. They discreetly deliver the test, you activate it and collect the blood sample in the morning. Then you send it off using the packaging and prepaid shipping label they provide. When I first got this done, I ordered the Male Hormone Complete Kit, which tests for testosterone, your free T or free androgen index, prolactin, estradiol, cortisol and SHGB, which has a big effect on your testosterone. Of all of these hormones, SHGB or sex hormone binding globulin is the one I have the most trouble with as it binds to testosterone, making it almost useless. Last year, when I was at my all-time leanest, my SHGB was at its all-time highest. Currently, I'm in a mass gain, and once I reach my target weight, I'll test again, and I expect to see my SHGB much lower with an increase in free T. There's an optimal body fat percentage, and it varies from person to person. Having too little or too much body fat negatively affects your hormones. I'll leave a link in the top comment to Let's Get Checked so you can find out where your hormone levels are at and use the discount code LAWRENCE30 for 30% off. Over 40% of people over 40 are obese, and obesity causes ED through generalized inflammation of the body, lowering testosterone, and damage to the blood vessels. People with obesity are also six times more likely to suffer from diabetes, and depending on the source, Around 50% of men with diabetes have erectile issues. There's good news though, with plenty of research showing in many cases we can reverse the harmful effects of obesity through lifestyle changes, including reversing ED and increasing testosterone. A literature review and perspective published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism on middle-aged and older men with functional hypogonadism observed that late-onset hypogonadism was uncommon in men who were lean or healthy and was relatively rare in men who were both. Lean and healthy men break the 1% decline per year rule. So the question is, once you're obese, does becoming leaner and healthier increase testosterone? The same literature review answers this, and I'll be referring to it throughout the rest of this video. It mentioned the findings from the European Male Aging Study, where a weight loss of 5% was associated with an increase in total testosterone. A loss of 15% was associated with more marked increases in both total and free testosterone. Weight loss has also been shown to improve erectile function in relatively healthy, obese, middle-aged men, with a 15% reduction in body fat, increasing the mean international index of erectile function score by 3.1, which is clinically meaningful. The connection between weight loss and testosterone is so strong that one should consider they may be suffering from organic hypogonadism if their testosterone level does not increase with weight loss, and this needs to be treated with TRT. Low T is associated with inactivity in older men and conditions like sarcopenia, reduced bone mass, and metabolic syndrome. When it comes to weight loss, exercise ensures what is lost is body fat and not our valuable lean muscle tissue. The benefits of exercise not only in reducing symptoms of ED and increasing testosterone, but our whole body's health cannot be underestimated. I've gone in depth in other videos on how we can use exercise to improve blood flow and strengthen our bodies, improving erectile function. Obstructive sleep apnea is associated with low testosterone, and a CPAP machine has been shown to improve erectile dysfunction and reduce fatigue. It doesn't have a consistent effect on T levels, nor did testosterone treatment enhance sexual function in men suffering from sleep apnea, 
but it did increase their desire for sex, which must have been frustrating. I want to talk about two things that can improve testosterone by 30%. The first one you need to speak to your doctor about, and it's Sodenafol, better known as Viagra. This is the simplest and most straightforward way to improve erectile function. In many cases, you only need it temporarily, as just being more sexually active can increase T levels by 30%. Combine this with weight loss and becoming more physically active, and you'll be back on top of your game in no time. When it comes to exercise, not all are created equal. Watch this video next to find out what types of squats are the best you can do to have the most amazing sex ever, and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.